Law & Order SVU star Stephanie March is making headlines, opening up about her breast implant nightmare and what she learned. She did it all in a candid new essay. I don't see enough to charge Ted Scott with rape one. She's best known for her role as an assistant district attorney on the hit show Law & Order SVU. Now, actress Stephanie March is revealing a dangerous situation in her personal life, a severe complication she experienced after having breast implants. I think that she is in a place now where she's feeling healed uh, and she's feeling confident again and she's ready to share the story. In a candid essay for Refinery29, March explains her decision to undergo the surgery during a painful time in her life, saying, my marriage of nearly 10 years was falling apart and nothing, nothing was helping me cope. I decided to change my body because I couldn't change my life. But after just two months, she says, my right implant was infected and the seams of the scar on my right breast had burst. This procedure that she thought was going to fix the problems in her life had only made everything more complicated. She realized it was time to just move on. March finally had the implants removed, saying, I kept trying to fix my body and it kept telling me to leave it alone. I have accepted this episode as a part of my larger story, and I refuse to be ashamed of it. March telling ABC News, I am overwhelmed and very moved by the positive response to the article. And joining us now, ABC's chief women's health correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. This is the most common form of cosmetic mm -hmm. surgery. What do people need to know? It is, Robin. It's generally safe and very high satisfaction rates, but it is not without complications. So those possible complications, which again are rare, but they can and do happen. The need for reoperation or repeat surgery, scarring around the implant, which is known as capsular contraction, a leak or rupture of the implant, infection or a poor cosmetic result, or just people changing their mind. You need to know about these possible complications, and they do differ based on the type of implant used, the approach used the incision and generally the skill of the and the expertise of the surgeon although these can happen with the best surgical technique and Stephanie was quick to not blame her doctor that's correct at all, said that he had that handled everything right. extremely well but what should we be asking our doctor I think the first question is you want to ask your doctor are you board certified in plastic surgery that's not a secret you're entitled to know that you want to ask him or her how many of these operations does she or he do every year and mm -hmm. what is their complication rate and compare that with what we know in the in the literature about this operation in general. I think what really also struck people with the essays that Stephanie was very candid and very open in talking about how she wanted to, things weren't going well in her life yep. and she thought this could change it. There is a psychological aspect when you approach this type of surgery. That is correct. And any reputable and skilled board certified plastic surgeon is trained to assess whether formally or informally the psychological state of the patient. If you think that having cosmetic surgery is going to change your life, mm. it's not. And there's no such thing as minor surgery. If you get a complication, it becomes major real fast. That's the headline. No such thing as minor surgery. That's right. All right.